All right, guys, two things to note in this story that I'm about to tell you. One, I am not the new grad in the situation. And two, if I don't say it, I might forget, the patient did live through this. And it really ended up not being too bad of a situation. Oh, well, it, it kind of did. In any case, I was assisting a nurse. I was the CNA at the time. I was assisting a new grad nurse who was releasing pressure on a hemostat band, a radial hemostat band. Basically, it is a big bracelet that goes on your wrist whenever you have a cardiac cath, where they go in your wrist and take a look at your heart. In any case, they put this radial hemostat band on your wrist, and you basically take a needless syringe and pull air or fluid out of it per the physician's orders every couple hours, uh, typically every couple hours, you know, whatever the provider recommends. It takes a long time before you get one of these bands off of someone. It doesn't happen quickly. Uh, it's, it's nearly an all-day process. In any case, <clears throat> nurse says, hey, it's about shift change. I was coming on for the night shift. This nurse was leaving for the day shift. They said, hey, I need help with this uh, band. You want to come on in and, you know, get some supplies for me, things like that. So I, I come on in the room. The nurse then removes set amount of air. I don't remember how much. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't the nurse at the time. I don't remember how much. The nurse removes a set amount of air. All of a sudden, there's a second bandage. There's a gauze on the wrist already. Begin to see a little bit of red come out of this. Oh, this is not good, but there's a little bit of red coming out. Now, here's where the nurse went wrong, and I'm not exactly sure what happened. I'm not exactly sure if the nurse left the syringe and the band connected and the air escaped from the syringe, or if the nurse had already pulled all the air out of the band, the band becomes loose and is taken off of the patient. Blood then begins to rain down upon the floor. And I don't mean like spraying everywhere. It wasn't like that. It was more like a, like a slow moving riffer, just a big slow moving riffer. The patient's wife is in the, is in the room at the time. <clears throat> the nurse grabs the wrist as hard as they can and is holding pressure did have gloves on holding the wrist as hard as they can and as i said i'm not sure exactly what went wrong i just know that the band came off maybe too much air was removed not exactly sure what happened the nurse then grabs the wrist and does the smartest thing as i think about it later on in life that she could have done and at the time i disagreed with this decision thinking oh you had this you could have done this by yourself hits the code blue button that's right she hits the code blue button like i said as a cna i completely disagreed with this decision i thought you know what you've got this you really don't need all of these people however looking back on it later in life as a nurse who's had several years of experience probably the smartest thing that this new grad could have done what is the quickest way to get help to you who probably knows exactly what to do in a hurry you hit that blue button. This is going to bring people who know how to help or at least warm bodies who can help very quickly to you. Now, the patient was alert and oriented, had full awareness of what was going on and <clears throat> showed no signs of distress other than this river of blood raining down upon their wrist. Yes, still alert and oriented. However, bleeding profusely, and I completely agree with the decision to hit the blue button. Completely agree with it now at this time. Like I said, at the time I thought, wow, this is a waste of resources as a CNA who did not understand. Looking back at it now, I'm like, that was probably the smartest thing I've ever seen a new grad do. As a new grad, I would have probably hit the panic mode, probably let go of the wrist like, oh no, let me run through my training of what to do. Da, 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 da. Let me call my charge nurse. Do, 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 do. Charge nurse, I need help. And in reality, this new grad, boop, push that blue button. Charge nurse, doctor, rat team. We call it the rat team. Basically, the rat team was a bunch of ICU nurses who were very and very knowledgeable about all kinds of things. Show up. Individual is taken care of. 
and the bleeding is controlled and everything goes well smartest thing i've ever seen a new grad do to be to be honest with you i don't think i would have known to do that as a new grad i would like to think that i would but i don't think that i would have like known how to do that if you got new grad stories let me know kind of interested in some new grad stories you know because a lot of new grads are coming up now and with nurses sort of getting in trouble here lately i just want to give some encouraging new grad stories that i hope is a encouraging new grad story as the outcome was good i don't really think that i think the only thing that could have changed what the new grad did differently would have been experience i think that an experienced nurse would have seen maybe pulled slower on the syringe and seen the blood come up and then pushed it back or maybe you know looked at the bandage a little bit more and seen you know what this doesn't look right i don't think i'm going to remove any air from this at this time i just think that experience would have played a role but i don't think anything else would have played a role any better than what the new grad did as a new grad definitely the way to be hope it helps thank you much